I got to know Sue a little bit since she uh, took over the palace. I think it's a wonderful building. We're very lucky to have it in Bridport. And Sue is doing a wonderful job of re-energizing it. But now I'm coming as often as I can to the classic film program. When I was uh, at school, which of course is a long time ago, in the winter term we always had three films. And I remember all the Ealing comedies. And I came to see Kind Hearts and Coronets, which is a brilliant film, and I, I'd forgotten how funny it is. I'd come with friends from the Tiger Inn, which is my social hub, really. Um, and my cousin, who also lives in Bridport, and we all came to Kind Hearts and Coronets and loved it. Well, partly because it takes me back so many years to when I first saw them. And so that's one reason. Also, films in those days are more appealing to me than most modern films. I went to see Spectre in Dorchester, and I think they're struggling now with these James Bond films. They, they've run out of ideas. It's all bangs and explosions. And the old films were infinitely better. And do you have a favourite among the classic films? Well, yes, there are two which I'm going to ask Sue to get, which I remember from school days. Bengal Lancers and Lost Horizons, which is about Tibet. And they were both ripping good yarns. And Anthony, you, you were saying about um, in your school days, you, you used to uh, regularly go to the cinema. Was that at the school or ha what happened? Well, it wasn't a cinema. It was in a, the only, well, there were two buildings in the school which could house 800 boys. One was a chapel and the other was big school. And uh, in the winter term, we always had three films, and we all sat in big school, and they erected a screen and projected the film. So it was pretty simple stuff. Mm. So what do you think about the um, work that's going on here for, to the at the Electric oh, Palace? I, I think it's, it's wonderful. Sue is masterminding a brilliant job, and we are so lucky to have this building. What is it about the Electric Palace that, that you like so much? Well, it's a wonderful old building, that's, that's the first thing. Uh, it's infinitely adaptable. I've seen plays here, I've seen talks uh, and films. And it's iconic, really. It, it's so typical of Bridport. 